Hey guys, so my last video I made was on how to make a 3D pen, and you guys really seemed to like it. So I thought about some other cool overpriced tools that I could show you how to make for cheap. So today we're going to be making a mini Dremel multi-tool. This will cost around $10 max, but all the parts are very common, so I was able to make this for free. Alright, for this project, you'll need an on-off switch. These can be salvaged off almost any old electronic. You also need a DC motor. The bigger the better. The best ones come from big RC toys. I got this one from a big RC helicopter. Next, for housing, I'm using about 6 inches of an old gift wrapping tube. You can use PVC pipe if you want, but I'm trying to keep the cost down. Next, for batteries, you're going to need at least 4 AA's. Maybe a 9 volt if you want. This battery pack I have came out of an airsoft gun, so I think it might have a few more amps, but it's basically the same thing. Lastly, you're going to need some Dremel bits. I already had these, but you can make your own by cutting a circle out of a piece of sandpaper. Alright, let's get started. First, you're going to need to solder one lead of your switch to your battery. Then solder the other lead to the motor. Remember to cover everything with electrical tape or heat shrink tubing. Now solder the other lead of the battery to the motor and you're done with the wiring. That's all there is to it. When we flip the switch, the motor should turn on. Now grab your tube and fit the batteries down inside. Then slip the motor in about halfway and fold the switch down outside of the tube and tape it in place. Now tape the motor to the tube and add some hot glue to the switch to make sure it's completely secure. The only thing left is to attach a Dremel bit. Now my motor came with a few gears attached and chances are yours will too. So I got a Dremel grinder bit and glued on a cutting bit to make a 2-in-1 attachment. Then I put some tape around the gear to make a snug fit so I could wedge the bit down over it like this. Another option is to just glue the bit right to the gear if you're looking for a quick fix. Alright, let's test it out. First, let's try some cardboard. It works alright on cardboard, but the material is too soft. So, let's try some thin plastic. As you can see, it cuts right through it. It's not as powerful as a Dremel, but for a fraction of the price, it's not bad. It even cuts and grinds PVC. I was able to sand down the edge of this piece no problem. Well, if you liked this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends. Also, subscribe to my channel for some more awesome videos. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys, so I'll catch you in the next one.